Lions are only two games back out of the wild card, so I'm gonna let you start on this one because I really don't want to talk about it, but we have to. They're two and six. That's all I'm gonna say. They're two and six. Their schedule isn't getting any easier. They play the Giants. They play the Bills. The Packers. The Bears twice. The Vikings. Jeff. Have at it, bro. Uh, I, I, listen, I love the optimism. I love that people, you can sit here and say, yeah, they're two games behind the wild card. But it ain't happening. I'm sorry. It just ain't happening. And the reality is, you got to face the Bears this week. That should be the full the focal point because you might not even win at Soldier Field. They haven't won a road game yet so far. But the bigger thing to take away is it's good to be in this position, but it really speaks to how bad the NFC is. I think that's the bigger thing to take away. It's not... I mean, this is more about the NFC than I think about the Lions. Uh, the, the fact that you're two and six and you're two games out of the wild card, we did say, and, and you said it, Adam, seven games, could be eight games, could get you in the wild card spot. And that's kind of how it's trending so far uh, for all these teams. Right now, you're two and six. T and I want to look at all these other teams that are around uh, the Lions right now. You're two and six. Bears are three and six. Cardinals are three and six. Packers are three and six. Saints are three and six. Rams are three and five. And then you have the Commanders 4-5, and five, Falcons 4-5, and five, and, and so on and so forth. So, again, as, as much as you want to talk about them being in the conversation, that's fine. You can have fun with it. But the reality is, and the question I want to ask you is, would you rather them make the wild card or have a top five pick? What would you rather see? And maybe I'll go to Lions fans. Comment Let me in, ask comment you guys, in the chat. Can I respond to your question with a question, if yeah, you don't mind? Definitely. So your question to me was, would I rather them have a top five pick or make the playoffs? Yep, be in that wild card. This is a very difficult question to answer. What I would say is, what is the most important need on this football team? What are the three most important things this team needs? As of right now, you're two and six. You've seen a year and a half of the coach and everything else around him. What are the three most important things? I believe quarterback, head coach, and I'm going to say better secondary play. Mm -hmm. Hell, you could even just list the defense, but beyond the point. Yeah, put them all in one. Uh, this, is, this is hard because... I don't want to turn down playoffs in year two. But in the NFC, 7-10 and 10 might get you in the playoffs. Oh, wait, I told you this before the season. That seven wins would be enough to get you into the playoffs. And that's what it's looking like. Having said that... It's a very tough is question. That a, is that a positive? That you're 7-10 and 10 and you made the playoffs? Uh, that, that, that's I guess just the real conversation because would you rather but again being in the top five doesn't guarantee your franchise quarterback right True. and I could make the case True. that if you make the playoffs everybody feels better about Dan Campbell yep things are going in the right direction you trust Brad Holmes wherever he picks to be honest with you and then you trust Brad Holmes to take the draft equity he has and move up to get your franchise quarterback I I'm going to lean playoffs here. I'm with you. Because I'm a believer that you don't need to be picking at one to get your guy. Right. I've seen Tua go at five. Herbert at seven. Hell, Brian Burns. Allen at seven. Burns was 16th, I believe. So. Allen at seven. Let's just talk quarterbacks, yeah, though, quarterbacks. for now. Yeah, right. Rodgers, 24. Lamar, 32. Mahomes, 10. Watson, 12. Come on. And although, Yes, you have your Burrows, your luck. Yeah, you get them at one. Right. 100%. I believe making the playoffs would be more beneficial because we would be talking about a head coach who is, quote, heading in the right direction. Now, 7-10 and 10 is likely going to get you in. Do I think they win five of the next nine games? I don't. But I would... It, I mean, I, I, that's just my way of thinking. Nope. I could be... Look, I could be totally wrong. You're not. But I'm sorry. I'm taking the playoffs. I'm taking the yeah. progress. And winning is what matters in the NFL. That's it. And if you are a good GM, like I think we all believe Brad Holmes is, if you are a competent franchise, if you want to be a competent franchise, you will be able to move up in the draft and get your guy. 
Herbert was seven. Allen was seven. Is that guy in this draft? Who knows? Typically, every year there is one quarterback that comes out that is excellent. Mm -hmm. Who is it this year? Does Will Anderson go one? Stroud two? Young three? Well, if you want to trade up to the top three and get a quarterback, I'll give you the formula. The Niners gave up three first-round picks I was just, to move up <laughs> me and from were, 10 or whatever it was, 10 or 12 yeah. to three. Me and you were in lockstep. You're going to be picking at 10 or 12 with that record in the wild card. Give up your two first-round picks this year and the one next year, and fuck it. Get your franchise quarterback. Let's go. I love what and you, make the playoffs. I love which I love everything you just said. Yeah, I think you hit on because now you're not firing your coach too. I, there you go, there you go, and you you hit on everything I was going to bring up, uh, the, especially the 49ers point. I mean, you're picking 12, 13. Doesn't mean you can't trade up to the top three and get a quarterback. I know Trey Lance. Say what you want about him, they were still able to get their franchise quarterback. We'll see how that turns out, but still, nonetheless. The option's there. I would much rather them make the, the wild card, even if they don't win the game. At least you would be proven right. Not only about Dan Campbell, now we got to see the context of a lot of those games, but you'd assume Jared Goff is playing better. The rookies are playing better. You know, Amon Rossine Brown, you trade away TJ Hawkson, you make the, the wild card. I would no question take the wild, call, uh, wild card appearance, excuse me. And this is why you have Brad Holmes. Like, you don't have it's Brad Holmes isn't a guy that you, you we're sitting here saying you know what you need a top three top four pick to get a stud. I I have faith in Brad to be able to maneuver trade or even if he stays put. Can I to, ask you something? to pick a great player? So I, I'm not concerned about that. I'm going with wild card. I'm with you. Let me ask you something. They make the wild card in some fucked up crazy world right now. They go five and four down the stretch. Okay. Okay. Seven and ten they get in somehow. All right. Jeff. Are you comfortable giving up those three first-round picks? Because I am. Yeah, me too. Okay, you, you let, me, franchise let me quarterback. ask you the flip side to that. You draft your franchise quarterback. Are you willing to deal with the suck that will come with not having that second first-round pick and the one the following year? Are yeah. you willing to have you take a chance on your franchise guy? Mm -hmm. And I would say, yes, I'm willing to take that risk. Because the rookie... Quarterback contract, Rookie baby. contract. Get more money. You're going to cut the $25 million. You'll yep. be able to go out in free agency and basically sign first-round picks, second-round pick talent. And you're going to have two second-round picks this year, and I believe two the following year. I could be wrong on that. Excuse me. Lots of maneuvering ability here. Lots of it. Hell, I could even argue you could trade up your first two round picks, uh, your first two picks this year, and a second this year, and a second the following and maybe move up. And they have multiple seconds this year, don't they? And they have a third. I mean, they have a lot of picks past just the first round. So, like Funky said, he said, I'm already thinking about using both seconds to move up. And there you go. In the late first for a quarterback. Hooker, AR-15, Van Dyke, whatever your flavor. Grab some defense in the first, Porter Jr. and Trenton Simpson. So, yeah, I mean, on top of that, I think we're in lockstep And let's here. be honest. We are. Let's be honest. Detroit, look around the league. Who has a better situation than you? For a rookie quarterback. For a rookie quarterback. I love you, Jeff. You're fucking on it today, man. <laughs> I, I can't. Offensive line. It's not too many. Running back by committee. Okay. Jamison Williams hopefully coming back. Amon Ross St. Brown. Brock Wright, James Mitchell. Uh, we'll see. Free agency period. You can go get a third wide receiver. Yep. That kid is coming into a good situation with an offensive-minded, not only head coach, but an offensive coordinator. A young one, too. It's a good situation for a young quarterback. And I'm sorry. I would rather see Dan Campbell succeed than fail. Because if he fails, we're going to call him a turd, kick him out of town, and then you're going to have to start all over again. Absolutely, yeah, right. I don't think the top five pick is worth it for me. Now, if you were to tell me you have two options, Adam, they tank and get the top three pick, or they win another game or two, Save Dan Campbell's job, but now you're picking at six or seven. I'd rather just get the top three pick at that right, point. Right, so now... If we're talking playoffs, it's different, but just winning a couple I, so games. So we're on the same yeah, page. It's... We're on the same page. Interesting conversation. Now, yeah, we're in lockstep here, and a lot of people in the chat agree with us as well. I think most people would wa want to see Dan succeed. I don't I, To say you want a, a top five pick... And that's why I said top five, because if I said top two or top three, it's a little easier, because then you're like, well, I get, a, I get one of the quarterbacks, I can get Will Anderson, top five. Because you, you still have Carolina, who sucks. 
uh, you still have other teams in that conversation for the number one pick. I, just, I could see the Lions winning a couple games well, let down me, the stretch. Let so. me address this. Yeah, but Adam, you said you were done with Dan Campbell, says Steve, and Motown Cool says, Adam, you were calling him a turd already. Yeah, because he is a turd. To this point. To this point. Right. But if he miraculously wins six of nine or five of uh, five of nine, like the postseason, and makes your second playoffs, season, even yeah. though it's a seven-win team, uh, I I find it very difficult to fire a coach who's going to the playoffs in year two, even if it's a seven-win team, which is an anomaly. But regardless, find it very difficult to do that, and you'll still be picking in the top 12, 13. I like my chances. I like. Them. Not 12, 13, whatever it is. Top, let's see him do the math. Minus 14. Top 18. Whatever it is.